Good morning, everybody. Uh, Pastor David here. Let me talk to you today about your story. Psalm 107, verse 1 through 2 says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story, those He redeemed from the hand of the foe. And how many of you out there have been redeemed? Amen. Me too. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story. You know, growing up, I loved hearing Bible stories. My favorite story of all times is that of David and Goliath. And my mom, my Sunday school teachers, my Royal Ranger commanders, ever since I was a little boy, would tell me biblical stories. And you and I have a story to tell. It's our story. Uh, some of us like telling certain parts of our story and others, not so much. Um, one of my favorite motivational speakers is Brene Brown. And Brene Brown says this, when it comes to your story, the stories you deny will define you. But the stories you own, you get to write the ending. And when you and I deny the worst parts of our story, we allow it to define us as a person. But when we own our story, when we say, yes, that was me, we get to write the ending of the story. And we all have parts of our story we don't like to think about, we don't like to tell. But when we say, yes, that's my story, you now have the right to determine the end of that story. Yes, that's my story, and this is how it ends. God has done a work in me. God has done a work in my marriage, in my mind, in my heart, in my family, in my character. Yes, that's my story, and from that, I now have become a more compassionate person. I don't judge others anymore. I've learned grace. And I've learned lessons that I might not have otherwise learned. God has redeemed me and he is redeeming my story. You know, to redeem uh, means these two things. To compensate for the faults or bad aspects of something or someone. And it also means to gain or regain possession of something or someone in exchange for payment. And because of what Jesus did on the cross, he has the right now to redeem our story. And when you own your story, you have the right to author its ending. First Peter chapter two, verse nine through 10 says, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him, declare, tell your story of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now, you are the people of God. That's our story. Once you had not received mercy, but now you and I have received mercy. Listen, nothing in your past needs to narrate your story and nothing in the present, not COVID-19, not fear or worry, not depression, not scarcity needs to define your story because the greatest story you will ever tell still lies ahead of you. And because of God's redeeming grace, power, and love, you get to write its ending. Friend, you and I have a story to tell. So give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story, those he redeemed from the hand of the foe. So Lord, help us to tell our story and declare the praises of you who has called us out of darkness into your marvelous light. God, I continue to cover with your blood, your people. Lord, just continue to encourage, continue to just provide for and protect and uplift your people in Jesus' name. And everybody says, amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.